so with the beginning of the school year underway, I wanted to go ahead really quick and do a refresher or an introduction to Cumulative. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the SprayGlamont.org website. On the home page, I have this black bar up towards the top, and it has a whole bunch of shortcut buttons, including the Sprague and Lamont cumulative buttons, respectively. For this exercise, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Sprague one because that is where I actually have classes. So I'll go ahead and click that to go to the login page. If you or students or families need information for username and passwords, um, your going to be able to get that information from either Mrs. Boutain, Mrs. Billingmeyer, or Mrs. Smith. Once you have it, go ahead and click sign in. And this is going to take you to your dashboard. As you can see, I have mine with tiles, color coordinated, because unlike my physical workspace, I like my digital workspace to be pretty and neat and clean. So, First things first, I want to make sure that if any of you have different access um, types, like teacher, employee, administrator, all of that, for this exercise, you need to be in the teacher access to make sure you can look up here. If it does not say teacher access, you will come to this little house icon, hit the little down arrow that is to the right of it, and it will show you your various types of access. Make sure you click teacher access. Okay, so there are three things that I want to show you for this. It will begin with um, adding weights to your grading categories, how to add an assignment, and how to create these shortcuts um, so that you can get to things quickly and easily. So, I am going to ignore these for a second because not everybody will have them. To get to my gradebook, I am going to come to the top left-hand corner where it says Skyward, and just below that, I have three lines. This will give me my menu when I click on it. I generally do grade book and then grade sheet. I have a little bit more access when I go this way. And you, once you've clicked this, we'll see all of your classes you have. I am going to use robotics Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this. So I'll click that. And I have one assignment in here, but I will be adding another one as well as um, adding those categories. So let me go ahead and start with category weights. To get to that, we are gonna go to the right-hand side of my screen to settings and click that. Then we are gonna go to the left-hand side of my screen and click calculation settings. It's got a little plus icon. When I click it, more options appear below it. And the category I want here is grading calculations. When I click on that, I will see term one, term two, and semester one. What I want to do is once more go back to the right hand side of my screen and I will have three buttons here. I'll have like a little reset, I'll have more, and then I have these double arrow icons. And these are actually what I wanna go ahead and click. It'll open up a window with more settings. In this, I have all of the different categories that we can add to my um, gradebook. So what I want to do is I'm going to deselect everything and looking at my syllabus, I have participation because that's the one assignment um, that I have in there. I also have assignments and I have projects. Once I have those selected, I'm going to come up here and click save changes. And then I'm going to come to assignment total points, and I'm going to change this to category weighting. This is where I can actually add the percentage for the weights. So, reselect participation because it went away. So, participation I have at 50%, assignments I have at 30%, and projects I have at 20%. Once I have those the way I want them, I will once again click save changes. Now, this is something that you will want to keep in mind. Even though I just did these settings, it will apply to only the term or semester that I had selected when I did them. So I had them term one selected, so they apply to that. If I click term two, we'll see they are gone. So what I want to do for that is by the term where I have the settings set up, I want to hit the down arrow and two options show up, copy and reset. Let's go ahead and click copy. And what that will do is it will allow me to select what term 
and semester I want to apply the same category of waiting to. Once I have those selected, I will click Run Process. And now my three um, categories and all of their weights have been carried over to my other terms and semesters. Okay, that's the first thing out of the way. Now we're gonna go back and add an actual assignment. So back to my menu over here, grade book, grade sheet. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna come to the right hand side of my screen and hit this little plus icon to add an assignment. Go ahead and add my, um, ooh, let's see if I can click, add my assigned date, my due date, and we are going to do syllabus. So even though this is not necessary, I like to have this added because I've discovered having a kid in the school, it's really nice having the, the assignment description so I know how to better help. Okay, once I have that there, maximum score, I enter the point value, um, I leave weight the exact same. If this assignment applied to multiple courses, I could then go ahead and select them. And for some assignments, um, very few, I have um, like a document that I can attach for parents to be able to view. And like I said, it doesn't happen often, but once in a while it does. And I like to be able to provide that for them so that they can see what it is their children are supposed to be doing. So I'm gonna come up here to save and add attachment because I do in fact have one for this. It's a PDF. So I'm gonna click select files, robotic syllabus, and it is completed. Default, yep, everything looks good there. Default, perfect. Show in family and student access. I want to select or else it's just there for my um, reference. Once I have that selected, I'm going to click save. And this will add that attachment to our assignment. And we can see that by this little paper clip. I, I said I just wanted to add the assignment, but I kind of also want to show you guys really quick um, a neat grading um, tip that I picked up on. So I'm gonna use this new assignment that I just posted as an example, and I'm going to enter scoring mode. And I'm gonna mark who has returned it, and I'm gonna leave those that have not blank. Now, in all of my past classes, if a student has not returned an assignment um, or has missed the due date, I generally put it in the gradebook as a zero and missing until they have turned it in. That way they can see how it's impacting their grade and also they'll be able to very simply find missing assignments when they log into their cumulative. So the easiest way I have found to do that, especially for those of you that have larger classes than three, is to go ahead and select the title of the assignment and click mass score. This allows you to add a mass score to the assignment, like if everybody got 100 or if everybody got we're just gonna be positive, everybody got 100, okay? <laughs> but this also has another very nice setting and it's over here to the right. And if about halfway down it says mark unscored as zero and missing. So that middle assignment is unscored because they haven't turned it in. So this will go ahead and go through this assignment and this assignment only and it will find anything that I have not entered a score, it will mark it as zero and then it will mark it as missing so that the student can see on their end what it's doing to their grade, and what they need to turn in still. So once I've selected that, I click Save, and like, just like that, we have Missing, and it marked it as zero, and they can see how that is affecting their grade now. Once I have the grading all done, I'll come and I will click Exit Scoring Mode, and just like that, my gradebook for that is updated. Okay, the final thing I wanted to show you is how to add these neat little tiles to my home page. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, shockingly enough, go back to my grade book, go back to grade sheet. Okay, I'm in my grade book. What I want to do is go to more, over on the right hand side, and the first option is add grade sheet tile to dashboard. I click that and we're done. You'll notice that I don't only just have my grade book, but I also have my attendance. So I'll go ahead and show how to do that as well because it's a little different. 
So again, my menu, attendance is the first one, and then I have daily attendance. Go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click my class. Once it is there, I don't have the more option over here. I just straightforward have add daily attendance tile to dashboard. I click that, and when I go back to my dashboard by clicking skyward, there it is. Now, if you really wanted to get into the nitty gritty and make them um, smaller um, or different colored, you would hit the gear up on the top right of each tile and you would click edit tile. From there, you have the ability to change the name of it. You can change the width of it from two, which is like the standard or the one so that it's narrower. And then if you wanna change the color, first thing you need to do is switch away from theme and click custom. And then you can click on these different tiles and you can drag around and create fun, wacky color combinations. Click save. You can go ahead and change the font or the icon color as well as the font color. And then once you're done, you will just go ahead and you will click save and back. And now I'll have a green tile that's one square, and it says test attendance. If you wanna go ahead and delete one, you'll click your little gear again, and click delete tile. Do you want to? Yes, I'm sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete the other one just to drive that point home. And there you go. That is the main things that I wanted to cover for this like really quick refresher. If you have any questions about Cumulative, feel free to ask Mrs. Boutain, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Billingmeyer, or myself. I will tell you right now, I do not have near as much knowledge as um, particularly Mrs. Boutain, who is kind of our go-to Cumulative lady. Um, but I will help to the best of my ability, and if I don't know the answer, I will try my darndest to find it. So. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Happy learning.